Hello, my gorgeous friends of Webflow. It's your friendly neighbor, the Francesco from Supercyto here. Today, I'll show you a super useful trick. How to disable page scrolling when the nav menu is open and all without using JavaScript. Just one simple CSS rule. I'll show you how it works using a project with a pre-built navbar. So stick around. And if you're interested in learning more about Webflow or no-code tools, Check out our courses on Supersite Academy. Link is in the description down below. But now, let's dive in. Here's a project with a super complex navbar already set up. It's actually just one of Webflow's default layouts. But when I click the menu button, and the menu opens up, but I can still scroll down, and that's not ideal for the user experience, right? Lucky for us, though, Webflow automatically adds special class to the menu button when it's open, and that's the key to our solution. Now, to see what this class is, we can take a look at the browser's console. To open the browser's console, we can either press the F12 key on the keyboard, or we can right-click on the page and look for something like Inspect. Then I've clicked on this icon up here to turn the kind of responsive mode. But back to the main topic of this video, let's try to click here and select the uh, menu button. And here it is. Now, if we open the nav menu, we can see that here Webflow adds this w dash dash open class. We close it and this class disappears. And again, this is what we are going to use to create our CSS magic. Using this information, we can leverage the has selector in CSS to tell the body to disable scrolling when it has, or we can say it contains, an element with the w-nav-button base class plus the w-open combo class. So in other words, this simple rule sets the body's overflow property to hidden whenever the menu button has the w dash dash open class applied. And as I wrote here, you can add this CSS to your global styles component, the one that you're using throughout the whole website or inside the head tag section within page settings. But keep in mind that by doing that, you will apply the CSS only to the current page or you can paste this code in the head code section of the custom code tab of site settings. And by doing that, you will make sure that this code will be applied to all the pages inside your website. This time, I just pasted it inside my global styles component. To check that everything is working fine, of course, we just need to publish our page and then inspect the live link. And here's the live link. Of course, now I can scroll no problem, but if I open the nav menu, boom, I cannot scroll anymore. Please trust me <laughs> when I say that. But if I close the nav menu, I'm able to scroll once again. How cool is that? And all without writing a single line of JavaScript. And that's it. With just one simple CSS rule, we solved the issue in a clean and elegant way. No JavaScript or external libraries needed. Also, a link to the clonable for this project is available in the description down below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Webflow tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Matane!